Alright guys, quick little video I wanted to show you guys my solution for mounting a handgun inside my vehicle. A very cheap, simple, budget-friendly way to mount a handgun. Alright, now uh, depending on your vehicle, you may or may not be able to do it in the exact same way I did, but hopefully this will give you some ideas if you're looking to do something similar. Now I am driving an early 2000s model Chevy Suburban, and forgive the background noise, but it's hot even in the middle of November, so I got the AC running. But uh, I've got this center console here that I'm just not really using for anything important. I could fit several handguns in there if I wanted to. So I wanted to utilize that as a place to stow away a handgun, just kind of a backup designated vehicle handgun. And the cool thing about it in the Suburban is I can actually lock it up. Um, now, depending on what you drive, maybe center console isn't the way to go. Uh, some of these like little small Honda Civics and things like that are barely big enough in the center console to cram a little subcompact handgun. Maybe that's what you want to do, I don't know. But like I said, maybe you want to mount it somewhere else, you know, up there up there something like that i don't know that's your call but either way this quick little mounting solution should work for you somewhere in your vehicle so let's go ahead and crack it open show you guys exactly what i'm talking about what do we have here but a dirt cheap walmart holster yes those seven dollar and 54 cent holsters that you see at walmart next to all the gun cleaning stuff that you know most of these guys that play airsoft are probably using yeah that holster right there that is what I'm running here. Less than $8. With tax, I think it was still under 8 bucks for this holster. Right? It's got the little snaps. you got the strap over the top if you want to use it. Now, it comes in six different sizes. Okay? I think they've got small, medium, and large for revolver. Small, medium, and large for semi-auto. I got the large for semi-auto. One thing I will say, if you're going to use this, mount it all the way down to the bottom. Push the holster all the way down to the bottom. That way, regardless of what handgun you have, you have clearance here be able to close this okay very very important don't mount it too high up what we got there is a glock 17 fit that in there nicely i've tried all my glocks they all fit all my sigs they all fit smith and wesson ruger taurus doesn't matter i've even thrown a couple of revolvers in there that fit just fine and uh we're, we're good to go so the large semi-auto seems to be the best option in my opinion i don't know uh your mileage may vary go with whatever you want to go with but uh let's get the gun here out of the way put that off to the side um, so you can kind of get a better idea of how we have it mounted here now what I did is I took this entire center piece out so you got all these screws all around the edges here okay and then down at the bottom I've got these bolts here that I popped out and I took this entire center piece out and I drilled two holes in the side here and then drilled two holes or poked two holes through the holster that line up with the holes that I poked here then I just took two small little bolts run them through on the other side here I've got a couple nuts and a couple washers if you guys can see down in there that little shiny thing down there that is the uh, that's the nut and the washer coming through from the holster and they're probably only about an inch and a half space between the top screw and the bottom screw and that's just to give it uh, a better mounting point so it doesn't rotate or anything like that as if uh, you know you put one bolt in there it's going to be able to turn and move around so i got two in there and then what it is i took a strip of industrial strength adhesive um, velcro just the soft side right there so that way whatever gun i put in there isn't going to get scratched up by those bolt heads sticking out so i just put that over the top of the bolt heads and then you can take any gun you want slide it in there it's not going to scratch up your slide or your frame or anything like that and you're going to be good to go um, but that is basically it. Just really, really dirt simple. With the bolts and the holster and everything, I think I paid nine bucks for this. All right, it cost me nine bucks and about 15 minutes of my time. Most of that was getting those bolts out and unscrewing all these screws here just to get this centerpiece out. But that's pretty much it, man. Very quick, very simple, very easy way to mount a handgun in your vehicle somewhere. And I, like I said, you could do the same thing, you know, up here, up here, over there, over there, wherever you want. You could take this inexpensive holster and mount this just about anywhere in your vehicle with just a couple simple little bolts. And again, under $10, and you got a way to mount your handgun. You know, what more can you ask for? So that's pretty much it. There you go. That's where I mount my handgun in my vehicle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives some of you guys some good ideas. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.